What's up, guys? This is Kefis. One of the things that I think about with, with classic and retail, uh, I just call it retail. I don't care. It's fine. I call it something different every time, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, one of the big differences is just the way the game is designed in terms of like questing and in terms of like, you know, they they have a roadmap that you are going to follow strictly and that's the way it is. Um, classic doesn't necessarily feel like it's like that. Um, like, for example, like I said, they designed the, ro the zones a little bit around the idea that by the time you get to this zone, you will have a mount. Um, in Classic, that wasn't the case. I don't think. Um, it wasn't like you were going to... What am I doing? I got the quest. Do I have to, like, go to the area to make them think that I got the quest? Hang on. Um. I, oh, complete quest. All right. All right, that's cool. So it, the weird uh, Azeroth autopilot's weird sometimes. It, it it like you have to go to a certain spot on the map to get it to continue. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, just like in the old game, you know, you could hit level forty where you're ready to get your mount, but you know, you may not have the gold. You probably won't have the gold. You'll have to continue playing for a while before you get enough gold. And unless you're really good at the game and you know what you're doing, so like, you, there's no guarantee that you're going to have a mount. I mean. People, that's something, another thing that we, you know, people don't think about. You're going to be running for a very long time. And when you get a mount, you're going to be dazed a lot. So, um, <laughs> just, just remember that. I mean, it's going to be, but, you know, all of that goes into what makes it so good, I think. I mean, it, the challenge, everything about it, you know, just, it's, it's going to be really fun to get into it. So, I'm personally very excited about it. Like, I, I can't wait for it. I mean, you know, it, the thing about classic, you know, with, with like, ooh, look at that. We leveled up again. 52. Holy crap. <laughs> it's crazy how fast we're leveling up. As we get closer to classic, and I think this is why I wanted to, you know, do some episodes before, one more time before the release comes out. Like, again, we are like a week out from classic still. And I've been thinking a lot about it because the hype is starting to get up with classic you know people are getting more and more excited realms are filling up and blizzard is like we you be ready for cues there are going to be cues people they're going to say that and people aren't going to listen people are going to rage it's going to it's going to be a a uh a crap show <laughs> uh trying not to swear it really is um on, on launch day people are going to lose their minds it, it's i feel i kind of feel bad for blizzard a little bit I'm sure they're used to it, though. They're big boys. They can take care of themselves. And big girls. They can take care of themselves. Um, but, like, it, people are getting hyped. And I've seen other people who are doubling down on the, you know, the, the naysaying, I guess. You know, like, hang on a second. Where are we going? Am I getting attacked? Oh, hello. There, you know, people are trying to remind everyone that... You know, you're not going to like Classic. You're going to be tired of it in a few days or maybe in a couple weeks or maybe in a few months. You're going to get tired of it eventually. And I guess technically they're right. Sooner or later, you're going to get tired of it because you get tired of things. That's just the way it goes. Is the spider in here? Yes, it is. This time I was prepared for it. Should we tame him? Why don't we tame him? Just because we can. Um, hey, Ruxpin, I'm going to have you hide away for a little bit. And we have a rare spider here. We might as well grab him. I mean, he's there. Hello, buddy. Creepy freaking... I don't like spiders, but I'm going to tame it anyways. How close do I go? Oh, 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 crap. There we go. Tame. Don't don't eat me. Don't eat me. Just just love me. There we go. Hey, look at that. We got the spider. That's awesome. Uh, Can we... Hang on. We got to go in. Tenacity. That's all you got to do to switch it. It's kind of funny. Uh, another thing that will be very different from classic. Yeah. <laughs> so many things are going to change with classic so anyway uh what i was saying is like as we get closer to the release of classic and you know people are getting more and more excited you have other people who are doubling down on the uh on the naysaying like oh you're gonna you're gonna get tired of it. you're gonna hate it it's gonna be boring blah 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 blah. and you know it, it, it's i i don't know i i guess if you love wow the way it is 
and you don't think, you know, you don't want to go back, then, you know, you probably get tired of seeing it, I guess. The thing about it is, like, I think back, you know, to when all this started. I mean, it goes back even further than I think a lot of people realize. I mean, I'm sure that, uh, like, the day that Burning Crusade came out, there were people that were like, oh my gosh, wow, Cla the original... The game was better before BC came out. Oh, I went too far. We gotta go back. Um, the game was way better before BC came out. You guys are just, like, you guys don't even get it. Like, b r original WoW was way better than, than the Burning Crusade. And I know for a fact that when Wrath came out, there were a lot of people that were like, Oh, BC was so much better than Wrath. Vanilla was so much better than Wrath. You're all a bunch of Wrath babies. Wrath made things too casual. Blah, 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 blah. All that kind of stuff. And, you know, and, and, and so there have always been people that, that think like that. I don't think that anybody's wrong. I, I think it's wrong to crap on someone for what they like, and that goes both ways. Um, but I don't think it's wrong to have your opinion and, and like what you like. This is a quest where we literally just wait for these guys to show up and we, we just defend this guy. It's pretty easy. Um, <laughs> but we'll have to come up with a name for our spider, too. I'll have to think about it. Um, uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I, I, I have a couple ideas. Maybe I'll rip off uh, Donkey Kong and name him... What was, the, what was the spider's name in Donkey Kong Country? Blinky? No. No, Winky was the frog. What was the name of the spider? I can't remember. I'll have to think about it. Maybe I'll name him that. <laughs> and then we'll get a bee and name him Zinger. <laughs> But, yeah, so, there have always been people that have preferred the old way. The day the old way became the old way in WoW. So that's nothing new, I guess. But I would say that that sentiment increased probably a little bit in Wrath, but not too much because people as a whole really enjoyed Wrath. Um, retrospect, Wrath probably was the beginning of the casualness, um, but... There we go. We got the quest done. Good. I've had this quest bug out on me so so many times I get nervous. Uh, but I would say that that sentiment went up a little bit in Cataclysm, not too much, because people were people didn't really see Cataclysm as like a problem with the way WoW was going, so much as a problem with the way Cataclysm was because it just didn't have a big end game. And I think people were more or less able to recognize why that was. Uh, of course, there were a lot of changes to the world and stuff, so I could be completely wrong about that. But I think that Miss is where it first started to kind of happen. Because if you've been on my channel for a while, or if you're new, you can go check out my my most viewed videos. I have a, a, a couple of, a few videos that have broken a, a 100,000 uh, views. My largest viewed video is a video called World of Warcraft Minutes in Gaming World of Warcraft Over Time. I was going to do a series. I kind of did a little bit, a little series uh, called Minutes in Gaming and where I just talked about different things. And this was the first one that I ever did. It was Minutes in Gaming World of Warcraft Over Time. I basically um, took a retrospective look at how WoW had changed up to that point. And this was back in Mists of Pandaria. This was probably at the, not the tail end, I don't think. It, I don't know, it was in, I think it was in 2020, is it 20, yeah, it was 2013, I think, is when I posted it. Um, that was when I started doing YouTube, and I, I got a massive hit with that video. I mean, a mat, like, that video blew up, I was blown, it blew up for months. And it was before I was monetized, so go figure. <laughs> um, but I talked about... You know, just the way the game had evolved, for better or for worse. And I and I reminisced about, you know, the, the way the game used to be with, with leveling up characters, with the way dungeons were, um, and how that had changed, and how, you know... Basically, like, I, I talked about a, a lot of the stuff that we're seeing now, with, with how leveling there isn't... I mean, this was back in Mist. I mean, it's crazy to think. This was like three or four expansions ago now. Several years back. Um, you know, just about how leveling had become less of an investment, less interesting, because there was, you know, there was less immersion with it. It was pretty straightforward. Um, and you level up very fast. And this was, again, back in Miss. You, lo you, you level up your characters very fast. And, you know, all of that played into the idea that, you know, you don't value it as much. It's not as immersive. Immersive, it's not as much of an investment. You're not as, as in, you know, as you don't care about it as much. Um, and that was a big factor. I talked about, you know, dungeons, uh, how the dungeon finder changed the game. And this is, this is something that I, I, people don't talk about a lot when it comes to dungeon finder. I don't think, um, 
you know, people don't realize how much of a gameplay changer that particular function is. I mean, we can talk about the benefits of it, and there are benefits to Dungeon Finder. I've, I've talked about this many times over. Um, the biggest benefit, obviously, is that you no longer have to wait around trying to get a group together. That's a pretty nice thing. It's pretty convenient. Um, significantly convenient. Uh, but, here's my question. When is the last time you CC'd anything in a dungeon? When's the last time you use Repentance as a Paladin or Frost Trap as a Hunter? Because that was a big part of the game back in the day. You had to CC groups. I Maybe in Mythic Dungeons, I don't know. But overall, that that's not necessarily. It, it's a wonder why we even have those abilities. I mean, I'm never going to use it on this character. Guarantee you I'll never have to use Frost Trap. Because the game, the leveling is so easy. You don't need it. You just take on... 10 mobs if you want um and dungeons the the reason why it, this is again this is what people don't think about the reason why we don't cc is because dungeons have to be designed around groups of people that aren't going to communicate because they are put together randomly in a pug and people are not just are not going to communicate basically dungeons in wow are quick match quick matches in overwatch um, competitive games are where you're going to be matched up with people that are probably closer to your skill level, and you're going to try to communicate more, hopefully. Not always. A lot of times people don't. You know, it's the way it goes. But it, the idea is, if you want to be successful and competitive, you're going to have to communicate. Because if you communicate, you can be a lot more effective, you can work together, you can strategize, you can, you can do all that kind of stuff, and that's necessary if you want to succeed long term in competitive overwatch quick play you just go in with random people i mean you go in with random people in in competitive too but um in quick play you're not expected to communicate at all it, it, who cares it's just quick play that's kind of how wow dungeons are and they're designed around that that concept we people are not going to communicate in these dungeons because they're formed randomly with random you know groups and therefore there's no need to communicate therefore we need to design dungeons a little bit simpler uh, for normal and heroic, and it's the same with LFR. It's the same same concept. There's not as much. There's it's very forgiving. It's pretty straightforward, and that's because you you cannot design difficult, challenging, or you know the, the slightest bit of effort in in these kinds of environments. It just isn't going to work. That's the major, the biggest drawback. I mean, you can talk about how the social game has declined, which I think is a very big drawback, but whether people want to admit it or not, you can talk about what you think is more important. If you value um, convenience over socializing, I'm sure a lot of people do, especially people that play MMOs, um, then you probably don't care. But you have to realize that the gameplay has changed too. And maybe that kind of gameplay doesn't interest you. Again, that's that's everybody's their own uh, person. But what we establish is... Because of these changes, there is a significant difference between the old game and the new game, period. It's just the way it is, and some people value the old method. They're not wrong for doing so. Some people don't care. They like the convenience. They have a wife and kids and life and, and all this other stuff going on, and they got a party on Friday nights. They don't have time for a while. It's weird. You know, it's whatever. People want a hobby, but they don't actually want to play the hobby. I don't get it. But that's how some people think, and it's fine. Fine. So you don't want to spend as much time playing the game. Modern WoW is there for you. Um, and, but then there are people like myself who like to invest, who like to be involved, who like to get immersed, who like to socialize, you know, with, with people that are, you know, going to play the game with you, going to, you can group up and do dungeons and work together and fail together and succeed together and learn together and become friends together. And, and I miss those things. And I think that while classic will have a better chance of providing that, uh, than, than retail will. So you know, that's an example of something that I talked about. Another thing that I talked about, and, and I think that Ulduar is the best raid we've ever had, by far. I don't think anything comes close. Nothing comes close. And a big part of why that is, is the creativity of the encounters themselves. I mean, the zone is amazing, the fights are the fights are memorable, and it's because, you know, they, they created, the, the way they created hard modes uh, is a major part of that, you know, where, as nowadays, it's you know, 
you rely on a menu. You click a button in the menu, it's convenient. You don't just switch to the heroic mode. The fight's a little bit more difficult, maybe some changes. There you go. Easy peasy. They don't have to design a bunch of creative encounters now. Uh, but, you know, I don't think it would have been too much for them to come up with. How you know, are you? I mean, again, it's one of those things where, okay, fine. It takes you a couple extra months to, to create those types of encounters. I'm okay with waiting for a raid a couple extra months if it means the raid is going to be amazing and, and knock my socks off like Ulduar did. Uh, that's my opinion. You know, so, um, that's an example where just the way they changed it and relied more on menus as opposed to, like, say, uh, XT, where if you want to in engage hard mode, you have to DPS the heart down. So not only is it a DPS check, it's also your willingness to engage in the hard mode. Now, some hard modes were as simple as pressing a giant red button, but that's still kind of cool. I mean, you know, go press the big red button and you enter hard mode. Um... You know, it kind of adds like a story element to the fight itself. It's kind of cool. I, I like that kind of stuff, man. I, I I think that, you know, doing things like that is 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 a lot more engaging than say, crap, I got to loot that thing and it's freaking all the way up there. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.